Hi guys, my name is Anthony Cummins and I'm a historical researcher and my aim is to get to the truth, to ask the questions about the samurai that we never ask, we just like take it for granted. So I've set about to ask these questions and one of those questions is about Iaido or Iai, which is quick response. We all know it today as drawing a sword uh, in a specific way and to cut to draw and to cut, but the Do character gives it sort of this Zen feeling. Originally they'd used just EI, meaning quick response. Now I am a little bit dubious as to whether the samurai of their day actually would use EI as we do today, EI Do, and whether the sword draw would actually be very similar or whether, you know, that, that was more of an add-on later. And I was reading, I've been looking this up, and the other day I was reading The Secrets of the Japanese Art of Warfare from a Certain School of Victory by Thomas Cleary. So that's the book, and uh, it's published by Tuttle. Now, uh, when I was reading this, and I, I was looking at it, I was thinking, yeah, that, that's interesting. And at the moment, we all understand that in the Aido and in, in drawing swords, is it's got to be to the front, you've got to draw to the front and pull your sword back, uh, scabbard back just out of where the sword is, and you pull your body away from the sword, and it's a very forward motion. But however, I came across this passage which, which totally blows it out of the water, to be honest. In the matter of drawing swords, you should have to be careful, sorry, you have to be careful about how you wear your sash. When your sash is tight, it is comfortable to wear swords in it, but the blades are close to your body. But if you loosen it, the blades are away from your body, but wearing the swords in your sash is uncomfortable. Therefore, it is best for the sash not to be too tight or too loose. The sash should be lowered with the left hand and not hiked up. Swords should be drawn to the right with the right hand and not, not drawn forward. The scabbard should be held down with the left hand, not raised. The lower leg should be drawn out of the way on the left and not extended. The leg should be pulled back. Now, of course I don't want to just trust the translation, so I went to the other translation, uh, which I'll show you in a minute. So what I did is I got uh, the original document and I sent it to my team who had a quick look over it. What I've done is broken down the basics of the sword cut here. Now this book is said to be uh, written by Yamamoto Kansuke, but it wasn't guys, it was not written by Yamamoto Kansuke. The reason for this is because in this book it says, uh, it talks about the Koyo Gunkan. Now the Koyo Gunkan is a document that was um, written after Yamamoto Kansuke died. So unless that was edited later, um, it, it's impossible for it to be in him. But I did think that Fujibayashi, who wrote Book of the Ninja, read this because I think there's a section of that in the Bansen Shukai. Uh, which is something I'll go into another time. So let's have a look at the sword draw. Right guys, we've got the, as you can see, we've got a Wakazashi in, we've got in the, in the obi, we've got a katana. Now, as we know, we all draw the sword out in this fashion, but here, this, uh, well, let's call him Yamamoto Kansuke. Yamamoto Kansuke, or the author of it, says, never draw out forward. So he says you've got to move it to the right. So what he's actually saying is move the sword over to the right. Let me come forward a bit guys, I'm going to be a, a bit of a, a tight area here. He says move the sword over to the right, push it down, leg back and draw it off and come out that way. That in that method. So over to the right, as you move, as you move your leg back, the hip goes back with it. So across, out. One more time, you're gonna draw this sword. Your sash is quite loose, it's down. You've pulled it down. Your wakazashi is across. This comes to the right, pulled over. The leg goes back, this is out, and the sword comes down. Now it's interesting, 
it's interesting that he says, don't draw forward. Now, of course, we've been back to the original, as I showed you before, the, the main steps are these. So what does this mean? What it means guys is we, what we think we know about the samurai or what I used to think I know is not always correct. We have this mash where the Edo period just or the later Edo period just filters out and, and deletes the stuff from before it because everything gets regimented and for, formulaic. So it means that for me that one document on its own says that anybody who says you must draw in this manner with you know to the front it must be this when you have got it, one document from like the early 1600s is saying do not draw forward in fact draw to the right yeah so for me this idea that everybody does this one drawer in the same way and it's always very very formulaic and static It's just not good enough for me It doesn't explain what's actually going on because you've got to look at EI properly now uh, Properly EI is actually quick response actions So usually when you come across an enemy on you're on a, a mission of vendetta Then uh, what you'll do is you have to quickly draw that sword up and you've just banged into someone You've just banged into someone or you know your enemy's there or for some reason very quickly that's got to come out It's got to be extremely quickly So this idea of very formulaic moving forward and standing You might be banged up against the wall somewhere pushing off and the next thing you've got a drawer and you're out And you've got to absolutely be cutting straight away So anyway I'll leave it up to you have a go at the sword drawers get some videos up tell me what you think But I want to leave you with the idea that is we need to question these things We need to think and already after one step there's a manual there saying that the way we all thought it was done is not really how it should be done anyway. So what do you think? Leave your comments below. If you're interested in samurai culture, if you're interested in real, reading real ninja manuals, then follow all the links below. We, my team, have published lots of books like this and we'll get more as we can. I've got a new book coming out and the link will be below for that when it comes out. Thanks guys and I'll see you soon.